All right. <clears throat> Welcome to today's stream. Just give me a second. I need to open the chat. Just so I can uh, see what you guys are... Guys and gals are saying. Let me open it up. Pop it out. Pop it. Pop lock it. All right. Now it's on the screen. Let me prepare my cookie. Little Annie cookie, it's called. We got a cool. We got a good one today. All right. Now, yesterday. Hello, fellow. Hi, little Annie. Here is today's cookie. Mm. Perfect. Super good. I'm out. Good stuff. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's start with today's problem. What's it about? You reach another volcanically active part of the cage. Let me just reduce the audio a bit. Alright, uh, it would be nice if you could do some kind of thermal imaging so you could tell ahead of time which caves are too hot to save the enter. Fortunately, the submarine seems to be equipped with a thermal camera. It's a very high-tech submarine. When you activate it, you're greeted with congratulations on your purchase. To activate the infrared thermal... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> this is classic. Okay, apparently the elves never used this feature. To your surprise, you managed to find the manual. As you go through to open it, the page one falls out. It's a large sheet of transparent paper. Okay. Uh... The transparent paper is marked with random dots and includes instructions on how to fold it. Your puzzle import. For example, what? <clears throat> okay, this is going to be some crazy stuff. Okay, so 17 dots are visible. Okay, also notice that some dots can end up overlapping. This caused the dice. <laughs> okay. So we have to uh, fold. Okay, let's do this. Do okay. New file. Example. This is our input. <clears throat> okay. Um. So to parse the input, I think we're gonna say read input. File path to um. It's going to be a pair of uh, points. Data point. Type. Point. X comma Y. No, it's going to be two int point. Int comma int. Uh, so, okay, we're going to say a list of points. Let's just have it. List of integers, huh? IO, uh, list of int, comma, int. And then we get a fold along y equals and x equals. Let's actually look at the input. Let's just see what we can get for the puzzle. 
we get a bunch of points and then fold along and then it's Y, X or Y. Okay, so we say, uh, okay, let's do this. Data, so, okay, uh, data fold instr equals uh, x int or y int. Now, uh, parse import text dot parse x read p uh, instance a uh, read fold instr where reads prec is a uh, read p to prec of f parse where Ours is going to be a read p fold instr parse equals undefined. Okay, so this is going to be a list of uh, points, points, and then a list of fold instr. Okay, so, um, so how do I parse a fold instr? Well, let me do a read p to prec. Hmm. Oh. What does this function do? Okay, I don't care. Read p to s parse, and we don't care about the first one. And now this one is going to be do. We don't care about a string fold along. Okay, and then we say so. Then we get the. Um, we have to try two of them. <laughs> so it's either going to be y equals or x equals. Um, so it's going to be choice of the first one is going to be do a string x equals and then a uh, read let me so we x over uh read s to p of read okay otherwise we do this one is actually going to be just like this. Um, so I will read a X and then it's an X. Or it's a string Y equals and then Y over read S to P read. And that's how we parse the full instruction. Okay, so now we want to... Uh, so we just say data input. And it's going to be a list of points. And it's going to be a full list of full instructions. Instance read input where 
cars, uh, reeds, crack, we don't care about equal E2S pars, where pars equals F type read P input. Now pars equals do. So we are going to um, We are going to read the um, we're going to say uh, do many one so the points are going to be many one of uh, so how do we read a point well we um, we read an int, right? So many read p. Okay, and. Let's say skip spaces. Uh, read point is going to be a right. This is going to be read int. Okay, so read point is do a x read p char comma y read p return let's come away so you say year read point and then we say uh, um, let's just say input f map over this one combined with Many one a uh, read p read p to s uh, read. Why doesn't it like this? All right, so this one has to be. Like this, right? Right, it's the same here. So read P. This one is the wrong way around. This is read S to P. Let's just do it like this. Read S to P A read.
Let's read under brackets here. Okay, I think this should work. Uh, might fail though, but let's see. This one becomes uh, read input at IO input becomes read input read over fmap read a file read file read input example into a print let's try it Probably gonna get that ambiguous parse. No parse, yeah. Let's see, GCI day 13.hs. So, uh, read at, well, let's see, uh, read all along x equals 1. Called along e x equals one. This is how we did it. Let's see, um, what do we do then? See, pull along x equals 1, return x, 1, 2. Okay, this one works. This one works, okay. Then we say, um... Cooking my throat. Uh, 
Okay, and then um Why doesn't it <clears throat> want to read the next one? Why doesn't it want to read the hint? What am I doing wrong here? <clears throat> we're still in the folding, or we're still on the task one, we're still on the parsing of the input. It's not gonna be the good today, I think. Sorry, guys. Let's at least do here. Let's see if we can work make this one. is going on today
I just know I'm not. Oh my god. Uh. Or it's just my some something that goes wrong here. Munch. Okay, <laughs> munch true. Let's just do that. I just want to see what, what's left at this point. Okay, so it's taking the uh, stream. Let's take the rest of the stream now. What did we do before? We have a uh, previous days, right? Read input, we have that for all the days. Read P to Ace. Reads prec. this we just say it's the choice between these two what is the read end Read as to P, read. CD day 13. Now read and Why is the read int not working? <laughs> I read ints before, right? And this, I don't understand anything here. Let's Google it.
read as the fee, read add int Oh my god, I think it's reads. Oof, okay, that was a bit much. Okay, um. Let's call this just parsing, okay? Okay, it's the same here. Okay, um, at least we know we knew how to read the B, so let's see here. Now let's back up here. And just say, uh, call this parse point. Okay, now this one's going to be parse point. Okay, so we say, uh, day 13.hs. Okay, now uh, parse point uh, 1, comma 2. Read P to S Parse point Okay, and we apply this to the function A uh, 1 comma 2 oh, Okay, and it parses So let's say many one parse point And then we have like we have this uh this uh star bracket right Something like this So how do I parse the input? There's gonna be do. No points. There's gonna be many one a x comma y. Okay, and now it's gonna say many one parse point. Keep the spaces uh, folds many one uh, fold instr uh, many one uh, reads read s to p reads return input points holds Uh, 
Okay, so how does it say now? All right, so it's all instruction. Let's do it like this. Okay, so we got the full instructions. We just had to skip the spaces at the end. Okay, great. We're 30 minutes in and we've uh, just managed to parse the input. Amazing. Anyway, let's copy the input here. Okay, so uh, now there's a list of all instructions. Okay, so we have the um, top list of thousand of transparent papers here, zero risk percent top left coordinate, first value x increases to the right, second value increases to the downwards, the coordinate three window. Okay, where is SARS at? Okay. Then there's a list of all instructions. These instructions in case a line on the transparent page, you want to fold the paper up or left. Fold along y equals 7, which takes them in the lines 5 by L positions where y is 7. Okay, so, uh, so the x coordinates remain the same. But I'm guessing it's like modulo 7. Okay, so, um... Apply instr mm, hold instr uh, list of points list of points apply instr so if it's, it's if it's y n then we map a mod n it's not the not, not okay all oh, right, uh, we map it over the second, so we do F map. Now let's see. Um, let's do it. Do uh, input uh, P's FS. Now print PS, print FS. Now apply in stir uh, then let's just do here the pattern let k k uh, f f s is equal to f s um so this is f s prime so apply instructions f p s and we print this. So we applied the first one and then uh, So the six X so six ten it becomes We want to see what zero so zero fourteen became zero zero. Yeah, that was correct. Okay, uh, but so nine three. Which one is nine three? One two three four five six seven eight nine three. Hmm. So oh, nine ten, okay. So nine. So this is fourteen nine ten. Okay, that's this one I think. One two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay, zero one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's this one. That one goes two, nine, three. Let's uh, print the points. Or let's just see. Okay. So for now, only 17 points are visible. Okay, so we do um Well what if we do uh so we do set dot from list dollar set dot to no set dot to list set dot size of set dot from list now we have to import data dot set apply to this set dot from list set dot size so we get 18 now only 17 dots are visible. We should be getting 17, but we're getting 18. Which ones uh, disappear? Okay, let's print it. Print points. Point to string. Okay, now print points equals where uh, y m max equals map a uh, maximum map s and d uh, p s p s. Okay, a uh, x max equals maximum map map fst yes okay um and then we do psp set equals set dot from list ps now we say um so now we just map over the list um I think we do, let's see, x comma y, and x from 0 to 5, y from 0 to 5. We 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay, yeah. So we want to go map over uh, x comma y. So we're gonna have a string a list of strings okay so we're gonna say for the uh, y's in zero to y max this is gonna be the list uh, of x x to of uh, x from zero to x max and the case here is going to be um, if x comma y set dot uh, member p set 
then uh, else dot there should be a list of strings or it's actually a list of strings and then we just say let me say uh, unlines Okay, let's print the first points. Uh, print ps. Uh, put stir ellen print points ps. Okay, this is the first one. And then we. Let's print this one. Let's see how it compares. Okay, hashtag the first line is correct. Oh, we're missing this one. Where are we missing this one? It should be. So this one. Uh, which is a zero comma thirteen. Where is it? So uh, let's sort the points. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, 0, 13 here becomes a uh, what's a uh, 13 mod what's 13 mod 7 Seven mod thirteen though. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, okay. We can't just take the modulus. So you want a uh, zero comma thirty. So you want thirteen to go to one. How do you do that? Is it like minus 13 mod 7? No, that's minus 6. 13 mod minus 7. Hmm. How do we do the fold? You want zero thirteen to go to zero one. Zero fourteen to go to zero zero. I mean zero six to go to zero eight should go to zero six. Wow. Uh, we want to find like the closest multiple no, okay. Okay, let's just do it like this. Um, apply instructions YN map F map more. Okay, so YN uh, is this map F where uh, F uh, X comma Y equals X comma and then uh, F prime Y. Uh, 
Um, F prime uh, y equals so if if uh, y so if it's less than n we want to if it's less than n then y else I think it's we do a so for seven. We do, let's do, um, n times 2 minus y. And then it's uh, correct, I think. Uh, set dot size if no links you get 17 okay let's do this now we're not gonna print the points so it works for the example and uh Just to um, so now we just care about the uh, first fold. So we're gonna say here uh, fs f f underscore at, and we say a uh, print set dot size apply in stir f. P S. Now it's set dot uh, from this. To run this for the uh, input. Non-exhaustive patterns in apply instr. Okay, it's probably because the input has uh, X. So for x, it's the same, right? Map f, except we do f prime to x, and then x if x less than equal to n, then x else then minus two minus x. We get eight hundred thirty-seven. All right, we got the first one. Whoop whoop. Now let's look at the second one. Finish holding a paper according to the instructions. The manual says the code is always eight capital letters. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> yes, nice. So now we use the fold R. To apply all the fold instructions. Okay, so we say uh, fold r, and then uh, no, it's uh, it's fold l, I think. Let's see. Yeah, fold l, fold left, fold l. Um, now it's fold r. Apply instr fs uh, ps right print points so fold r is a put stir then and now fold R 
takes an A and a B and a B. Oh yeah, when we have to, it's the points that we say. FS. I think this is because we kept saying that these are not functional things, so. He made the one that's literally a fold. What does it do if it run on the example? We get this zero. Now what do we get for the over the input oh we get a lot of minuses that's not good Why did they become minus? And we got the right amount of points. Uh, but they all ended up being negative. Apply instruction P P S. All right, I think it's because we didn't. So for each of these, we have to say set that to a list. Um, set dot from list. Same as here. So it's not the ABS, I think. It's just we never, we didn't remove the unique, so we had some points left. Okay, so when does this happen? When does it become negative? It becomes negative when... Um,
about m times 2 mod n. That's not a thing either. Ugh. It's a, it's just hard, right? Because it works for the example. I think I want the... I don't want the... Um... I think I want the distance of the point to the line. I think that's the one that I want. I think I want the uh, so x minus n. Same here. I think I just want the abs of y minus n. So. Okay, so zero zero so go to so always go to zero zero. Okay, so I think it's the difference. I think yeah, this one's correct. ABS Y minus N. This, this shouldn't be so hard, actually. wrong okay so okay so if it's if it's uh, less than n it should go to n that's for sure okay um, but else it's the yeah it's the difference minus y I think so otherwise it's a difference from like twice of abs n times 
2 minus x. That one works. Okay, what I don't get is that it says that it should be... Eight capital letters, it's saying. Out. Let's open out. What do they mean by uh, eight capital letters? Finish folding the transparent papers according to the instructions. The manual says the code is always eight capital letters. Maybe if I change this to less than n. Maybe I'm just off by one or something. Like no, it's still just random. It's like it's not like we're getting the wrong. I like I I don't even know what we're doing wrong. Maybe we're printing it out wrong. No, it doesn't look like that. Has anyone done this? Do you know? Like, we're supposed to read from the paper, right? That's like the final result here, right? Oh, uh, okay. So, um... So I, I know what I what I'll do. So for y of n, I need to um, I need to figure out the max y. 
Okay, that's gonna be maximum of the second. This is gonna be PS. Maximum of the second of the PS. Now, it F is going to be a function. Uh, we're going to say set to list, set from list, map F to the PS. What's wrong with this one? Expected type, okay, max y, maximum. So this is a list of points, and max y is, uh... Okay, and then this one is... Comma y. So if y is less than equal to n, then we just return x comma y. Otherwise, we do the, uh... Otherwise, it's the uh, max y minus y. So distance to the top modulus uh, n x comma. Maximum map second, right? So max y is gonna be on PS. Yes, I think this is how we do it. Then we exchange y for x. And then this one is gonna be fx y, then if x is less than equal to n, and then x y. Otherwise, it's a max x minus y minus x modulus n. I'm just amazed that it kind of, it, it still, it worked for the, the previous one worked for the example. Okay, now at least it's a, uh, Turning a lot fewer points. <laughs> Apply to the example. Oh, it's wrong on the example. sheet um, okay so we we have so the sheet is marked with random dots and includes instructions how to fold it up your puzzle input first this is dust and then transform the first uh, zero first file increases to the right second one increases down to the corner three yeah according to this example Form the following pattern where x is a dot in paper and a dot is an empty unmarked position. 
Then there's a list of fold instructions. Each instruction indicated. Okay, I think I need to kind of compute the initial fold. So apply instructions. There's going to be a um, Because we might fold, you know, we might fold like not uh, not at the edge, right? And then we might get something like this, right? So where the where the minimum one becomes the new maximum, something. So we also have to fold the ones that are below. So it's not it's not okay for us to do and we can't do the we can't rely on max y either. Let's just focus on this one first. Okay, so let's say we are folding like this. So where does where does zero zero end up if you now don't fold in the middle? correct right But then we should have the negative amount, right? Okay, so I think it was correct before. Let's keep it like this. I think it was correct when it was... I think our first implementation of the fold was correct. It's just that our printer doesn't know what to do.
So the printer has to find the... X-Min... We go from X min to X Y min. And then we print these points. Let's try exchanging the wise. No. Like zero zero will become zero zero, and then if we fold it like this, whatever is here will become zero zero, right? And then this one will become minus y something. But is I think it is correct to do it like this. Right, so here, but why don't we have any? We don't have any star on this part, right? Why is it showing up in the
let's see. Normalize point to Lisbon point. Normalize uh, PS equals. So we do X main. We do Y main equals minimum map SND PS. Do um, x comma y to x plus x min y plus y min ps matter at all but what's happening now Right. So X min e m a X M equals is if uh, x min less than or equal to zero then zero else abs x min y m prime if y min less than zero then zero y m x m uh, let's see This doesn't make there's something something very weird that I'm missing here. So here, okay, x m if x min less than equal to zero, then zero. Oh, if oh, this should be larger than equal to zero, then zero. Now we look at the out. Okay, now these are all positive points. Missing a
I'm just not getting it. This is the first time I'm just not getting it. Now it's no longer given 17 for the example. Well, it's because we did it twice, right? Print. Because, like I'm saying, it because it um, it works for the example, right? So we do put stir ln apply in stir uh, fps. Right, and then Maybe I'm kind of losing the empty part of the sheet. And of course, like at the end, none, none of them are there, right? Okay, so this is a, an instance of like how to mirror. Yeah. 
I mean, that's the thing, right? If I fold a paper like this, and I fold it like not at the half, some of them will end up on the other side, right? So they will be negative, right? So I think it's, they should end it and negative. Are you, have you done this to me? Cause like, uh, we're just, we're just stuck. <laughs> okay, um... So all of the positions where Y is 7. of reflection mirror line measure from point to the mirror line measure the same distance against on the other side and place a dot then connect the new dots when the mirror line is the x-axis when it was the y-axis that's also what we should be getting okay um so let's see here um one f okay and it's gonna take an int to so it takes an int and an int to an int f uh, so mirror mirror n uh, x equals undefined okay so if it's for the axis then we say where x is so we do unzip uh, PS. Let's say PS. So X is a uh, comma YS. So if it's the axis, then we uh, map mirror N over the axis and we uh, zip Y's. Same for the y's, except then it's the axis. Zip width, map, mirror, and ys. Now, how do we mirror across a, a point across a line? What's happening? nothing happening let me sec so how do we mirror uh, across a line just type it up to write some things okay um
Okay, now we just have the unit interval. And the new coordinate is defined by mirroring over the unit interval. Okay, so I have... Um, I have an X and I have dot 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 and I have a mirror and I have... How am I supposed to mirror it? Okay, so first of all, we only mirror those that are on the other side of the line, right? I think that we have to do that. Case X less than or equal to N equals X. So if it's on the line or if it's... Um, If it's if it's not on the line, yeah, th this is what I have, but it it is wrong. It gives me the wrong result. Okay, let's do the back then minus x. I mean, what I do is I run it. It works for the example, and then I run for the input. And uh, it just returns a lot of garbage output and it doesn't work at all. And I'm getting a lot of negatives. Right? So like, what is it saying? Like, okay, if I, so I think maybe it's just the in instructions that are unclear. Okay, so if I fold it like this, does this become the new zero? And does that mean that the new fold instruction is relative to this new zero and not to the old zero? Maybe that's just it. Okay, then I just do, um... Let's see. No, it works for the example. Right? That's what Tim thinks it is. I'm implying it in the wrong order. <laughs> okay. Woohoo. Fold along y equals 7, and then fold along x equals 5. Okay, and then the input says... Fold along x and fold along y. Okay, maybe if I...
Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not the wrong order. It's, uh... Yeah. I was using the wrong fold. Right? So it says fold left. And then it works. Okay. Cool. So it says EP said GKCHU. E, P, Z, G, K, oh my god, E, P, E, P, Z, G, Z, G, K, C, H, U. Okay, we have to wait 36 seconds. Okay, yeah, it's very annoying that they have the wrong order in the example and it just works, right? At least we don't have to normalize and do all that bullshit. We don't have to do find the X min and Y min. Yeah, I think it's yeah. So initially we were like, oh, we should use the fold L because it says fold left. Uh, but I didn't think of uh, that it could be the. Yeah, I mean, but obviously, yeah, that's how it does it. If you fold in the wrong direction, they are up, um, the operations get applied in the opposite order. Okay, we learned our lesson, but it was getting very frustrating, right? For a while there. All right. But yeah, because I thought the mirror was wrong somehow, and I kept focusing on that. Alright, let's say git status git add day 13.hs input example git status git commit am day 13 git push. Okay, that was uh, very frustrating. And I didn't think of all, oh, let's try the different order. So, thank you to me again for saving us a lot of frustration again yeah i don't know this is also like one of those i don't know like last year i felt it was more um kind of you had to you had to do it get the computation correct like the data structures and stuff but now it's just like here you know it's just you don't do anything Right? I mean, there's no... Okay, I mean, we, we parse, right? But then, like... This was the solution. Okay? There's no kind of, oh, we have to be very careful with how we compute things so it, it's fast. Right? It's just... Now it's all about figure out what to do. So we're not really being... We're not able to show off, you know, what... What, uh, what we're good at and whatnot. But... Okay, thank you for coming today. Uh, I'm gonna relax. I've been working all day. See you again tomorrow, seven o'clock. And uh, enjoy. <laughs>